My name is Buffy, and I'm getting ready to do a, what you call, a pet bed that is affordable and cheaper. You don't have to spend a lot, whole lot of money just to make a perfect cat bed, especially if you want to please your own pet, cat, dog, whatever you have in your own home that makes you happy. So basically what I'm going to be doing is showing you a simple step on how to make this cute, cute little cat bed. Well, for me, I have a cat. For you, you may have a dog or a cat, whatever you have. It's really simple. What you see right now is actually two laundry baskets you can find in the laundry aisle. It's very simple and easy. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these things and then you're gonna put one, you're gonna have two of them, remember. And, they're, and you're gonna have the other one, you're gonna flip it upside down. So you have it look like a cage, right? Don't worry, we're gonna get through the next step. And so basically it's going to be simple and easy. You're going to take your cable tie, which is about 14 inches. You want to make sure that you're going to be doing about every other spot. You're going to take this through and you're going to pull it. And once you get through that, tighten it up as much as you can. And then since you got one side on this side, it's always easy to do the other side. So you can get the off center to make them sure that they are easy. And they do not slip away from you as just quick as that. These little things you got to cut off a little bit, don't worry about that because what you're going to do is you're going to take that, when I'm done with all the video, you're going to take this little, um, like a little wire cutter, simple as that. I'm going to do one, but I'm going to do the rest later. But anyways, you're going to take one of this, you're going to take the excess, and there you go. You don't need the extra. So basically you're gonna keep doing it all the way around. And then I would like to do is basically suggest that you're gonna have one, two, or three spots. So it's easier uh, to do about every other, so that we, it's gonna be secured and tight. And then once you get around and you get all these things done, and basically kind of go back and forth so you will not forget what spot you were on one side and you work on the other side. And so you're going to keep doing that to keep, uh, and you go all the way around. And when I was at the store today, and I was looking around thinking, well, what do I want to do to make my cat happy? And especially, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the things that you see in that pet section is worse than buying stuff for your baby. Well, it's because it's expensive. I mean, really. So I thought I had an aha moment. Well, what if I get something a little bit more cheaper and affordable and you take these things, uh, uh, these little uh, baskets. I was just sitting there in a the store just brainstorming thinking, okay, well, I want to do something really nice for my cat. And so, I mean, this is very affordable. I mean, some of the uh, pets things that you see in the store is only about a little over $30. And I don't want to spend that much. I mean, really, a cat or a dog, you want to spend a lot of money when you can spend that for something else that it can make you happy or you and your pet or whatever you need for other things in the household. So basically, you're going to keep going through this all the way through around the circle of this whole thing. Don't worry. It looks like cage, yes, but I will show you the next step to make this simple and easy as possible. And like I said, when I get done with the video, I'm not going to worry about cutting these things off. I will do that later. So, and you're just going to keep going and keep going, and, and it's just really simple and easy. I mean, yeah, it's, I uh, thought, what if I can show you guys an affordable way? Uh, this is how, this whole thing right here we're looking at, I mean, each of these baskets is about $40 each. I went to Walmart, just keep that in mind. And I thought, okay, well, if it cost me that much, and then the blanket here, well, I'm going to show you that in a minute. But the blanket here is going to show, uh, uh, it's going to keep the cat or dog nice and warm on the inside. But I'm going to show you why do I have two. I'll show you why. But anyways, those right there, for each of those blankets, under about $3 each. I mean, you're looking at about, okay, there's four for it about there. And then you've got the blanket, and you're looking at, okay, well, that cost me about, almost about three something each. So before you know it, and then the cable time, under two dollars. I mean, this whole project only costs under twenty dollars plus tax. If you, if you want to get technical, 
And so what you do is you take all of that and, and, you, and you can make this really simple. It only takes about a little short time to make this. I mean, you're going to wonder, what about a hole in the middle? How are you going to get your cat or dog in there? Why you're, and you're going to be cable t uh, using cable ties to tighten it up. Yes, I understand. I'll, I'll show you. And in just a second, I'm almost done with this little part here. Thank you for bearing with me, by the way. Um, did I tell you guys again? My name is Buffy. <laughs> I want to make sure I said that just, just so you all know that, that, who I am again. Okay, now, now that I got all sided these things, it's really simple and easy. Okay, you all the sides. So right here, it says there's one, two, and three. I would suggest you do it about every, you know, every other, like I said. So you're doing about three on this side and three on the other side. So you got, it's really simple and easy. And, I mean, you only need about 20, 20 count of something simple and easy. This thing is not as much as what you think. Under $2 for this whole little cable tie. You're not going to use all of it, okay? So basically, you're going to take it again. Oh my God, you're thinking, what, you're going to do this on both sides, right? Well, that's okay. I'm going to show you a secret. Don't worry. The cat will get in. <laughs> So, you're going to do this on both sides. Remember how I did it both back and forth? Just to kind of keep both sides firm. Again, no problem. You're going to do the same thing on both sides. You're going to go, okay, gotcha. Really simple and easy. I just thought, you know, I did not learn anything from other people. I did not get any ideas from anybody to learn how to make this really simple and easy cat bed or dog bed, whatever you, you want to put it that way. Um, so, I mean... You can call it whatever you want to call it. You, I call it just yeah, easy pet bed. And it's really so, uh, and then of course, you know, I'm going back and forth. Uh, so you guys can see these things are really easy. Don't worry, it only takes about a second to get those things off. You're not going to have them. So your cat can play with it and have a little toy at the end of, uh, the, you know, every day. So it kind of gets old, right? Don't worry, don't come off. Just like when I show you in the first one, over there that cut that piece off. You want to make sure it's nice and firm. You have a little bit of finger and gap in there. That's okay. That's not going to be a problem. And then you're going to keep going back and forth. Oh, yeah, I did that. Okay. And you're going to take the other thing. Um, um, uh, after I'm done, I will show you what, uh, how you make this thing easier to know how do you tie this in right. And it's really simple and easy. I'll get that in just a second since I have extras here to show you a little demonstration. And then you're going to take both sides all the way around. No problem. Give me just a second. Thank you for bearing with me. This is a little, little bit longest part. But once you get through this easy, after this part, you're only going to be about five minutes. I mean, five minutes and your pet and cat or dog will be just right into it in just a few minutes. And of course, it takes a little while to get used to it. So here's a little trick I would think that maybe to suggest is to get them used to getting into their new bed because they're, some of them may not like having this kind of stuff yet or they don't want to feel that shelter feeling. Don't worry. See this little thing? It only takes about a second. That's what it is for later, but that's okay. Got it. it only takes about a second just to cut them off. Don't worry, Dad. Just throw that other one away. Yeah, I'll take that up in a minute. Yes, I'm throwing it on the floor. I don't care. I'll get to it in a minute. So, once you get all this, you got all the things that's really simple and easy. And you can choose any color of blanket you want. If your cat is uh, it's a girl cat, you can do pink. You could do, you can even go to the fabric section and get one of the easy couple yard of fabric. I mean, less than three yards. You only need about that much. And if you want to, uh, I would suggest using like a plush feeling a little softer so they could feel a little bit more because you know they like that feeling that like that little belt velvet or belty kind of feeling okay last one so now that i got it all done you see how it's just easy you can't it, it will not come apart okay you're wondering a little secret that i was thinking about is how you get your cat used to this bed well what you do is you get underneath an air and you get one of those little catnip thing that you can put underneath the blanket or underneath the bed. So that way they, they get a little bit of that, you know, catnip smell and they think, oh, there's something cool in there. I think I'm going to go check it out. Don't worry. So once 
to, uh, this is going to be an easy way to show you to make sure you see this little thing right there that sticks out. Don't worry. That will make it easier to tie this into the uh, into the basket. Well, I'm going to call it the cat bed. It's easier. And so you're going to take it in and you're going to pull it through and then there you go. Really simple. You can pull it through as much as you much as you desire to cut, you know, to make sure these things are tight and secure. There's a little way to do that. So, once you got that down, okay, now you're going to think, now how in the world are you going to get that to open up a hole for your cat or dog to get into? Don't worry. Scissors. Really simple and easy. So, you're going to take this little thing right here. It's okay. You're going to go ahead. You're going to cut just a little bit right underneath. All the way through and you're going to make a little hole. Just... It takes about a minute. It's easy because this thing's plastic. And you're going to keep going and keep going and keep going. And you're going to get all the way through. Voila. Not so hard. So this is this is why you want to get a cheap plastic. Later on, if you decide to, you want to make it a little simple, go ahead and go to the store and get like one of the snail files, that little bit extra grit. A little bit heavier and you can sharp shave those down so you don't scratch your arms or or your pets you know as much so that's another idea to get that um those little edges right here off and there you go you have a hole in the cat bed see not that hard so what you do is you take this blanket you know i'm a male cat like i said and you're going to take this blanket you open it up just enough to you know Make sure it kind of covers it up. Not, not there. And you just get your hand in there. And you go in there and kind of throw it in there. Kind of get it all in there. Make sure it's all nice and bunchy. And that's what, like I said, get that catnip underneath of there. And, and they might go to town and go, oh my God, I want to, you know, roll myself into this bed all the time. So like it's, it's also a suggestion, when you get that nail file, you're not going to hurt yourself. So just kind of shave it down a little bit. It's okay. And then, when you get that in there, okay, it still looks open. The cat's not going to like, you know, having that privacy. That's okay. What you have is the other blanket. So you're going to take this whole other thing on top. So it looks like a cat house. And you're going to take it all the way around. Just enough. And they're a cat, cheap bed. And you know what? Coming from your heart when you make things like this, your cat's gonna love you even more. So now that I hope this will help you to get the idea of how to make this in a simple way. But once you get this down, it only takes about, uh, well, under 15 minutes. <laughs> and I just hope that the, my ideas will help you guys on how to make this simple for yourself and your cat and dog will love you even more because you put your extra heart and soul into their bed because the fact is it comes from your heart. You're not spending a lot of money that someone else has put together for you at the store or like a manufacturer, you know, dog house, whatever you want to put them in. This is something that you can do for indoor pets, I would suggest. Not so, not so outside. So, that way they're covered, they got a little isolation, and they feel like they're more safe in their own little environment. That's what, uh, what cats will do. They like to sleep underneath the bed, they like to sleep anywhere that is kind of covered, and that way they're out of your way. And during the daytime, this way they know this is their little home, and they will enjoy them uh, their whole little time in their bed, it's many times. In many days they like. And like I said, see? Your cat will love you. And I hope my ideas will help you all to enjoy my uh, suggestion on making this bed a little bit more easier. So, I just want to say thank you all for watching this. 
in my step-by-step -step version of how to make things a little bit easier for your own home and a very affordable way. And I hope you can look forward to many other videos and there's other ones on, on YouTube that you can enjoy. And not to mention the fact is all you have to do is hit like down there. I'll be uh, delighted. And so subscribe to my YouTube videos and that would be also a great thing too. And I just hope that my ideas will help you. And you can pass it on, share my uh, videos on Facebook and friends and everybody else on Twitter and YouTube and what. Yeah, I don't think we can too much on Instagram. But you can also you can also find me on everything. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, which I just joined about with little little than three weeks from now, almost about a month. I've been joining with Instagram, the whole new thing, and enjoying that. So I just hope that. Ideas will help you and I'll have many more that comes to my mind that maybe that will help you guys and something for you to look forward to. Again, my name is Buffy and thank you again. It's really simple and easy project. And I get to recycle this little cage away. Okay, again, you all have a great day and thank you again. And have a great holidays to come. Thank you. Bye-bye.